Let's turn on the Christmas tree. So pretty. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Vlogmas part 8. Today is a spa day and I'm super, super excited. I gotta leave in 10 minutes because I woke up quite late. I had a bad sleep again. I did my skincare, got ready. I just need to pack my bag and I'm ready to go. My brother is gonna pick me up in about 15, 20 minutes and then we're gonna drive there. It's not too far away. It's about 10 to 15 kilometers. And because my brother has an exam today, <laughs> We'll have to leave around three o'clock. So we're not gonna be there full day, but first half of the day we're gonna spend there and then he has to go get his tests done. And I'm gonna come back home and I have no plan for the afternoon to be honest. So I've been having a really bad sleep. I don't know, I'm having so many dreams guys. Like I cannot have a proper deep sleep because I'm constantly dreaming about things. And I think it happens to me when I have a lot of anxiety and stress. I don't know exactly what's stressing me out and what is the anxiety about but I'm guessing like the new year's coming. There's a lot of suspense about everything. Everyone gets so excited but also everyone gets worried because like oh what if I don't achieve my goals and all this stuff. So hopefully that gets fixed within the next few days because I'm just constantly waking up tired. So I'm packing my bag for the spa day and I'm gonna bring two different bikinis. These are the only ones that I have left here that fit me because I brought everything else to Monaco and I didn't bring any with me because I didn't think I would need it. Then we have some electrolytes. I need this because I'm gonna go to the sauna and it's good to have it on hand. And then I'm gonna bring this protein bar in case I want something sweet. And then I have this book. I also need to pack my skincare, body lotion, and I need to bring a little bit of makeup. Ready to go. Finally back home, washed my hair, did my skincare, put a face mask on because I'm breaking out again. I'm cozy in my new robe and I'm ready to chill all evening. I had a great time at the spa with my brother. We both enjoyed it so much. And even though we left around three o'clock, it was the perfect timing because if we stayed any longer, I think I would start to get bored because there's only so much that you can do there. There's a bunch of saunas and there's a bunch of pools, different pools, hot pools, outside pools. We had a massage, so we tried out everything and i went to sauna infrared sauna for 30 minutes 
three times. Now I want to make myself breakfast because I want to make chia pudding. I did try chia pudding before but I never made it at home so I'm gonna try to do that because my friend told me the other day that she makes it quite often and it's a great protein breakfast if you don't want to have eggs constantly or i make myself this yogurt protein yogurt bowl in monaco but i don't have the granola i don't have the ingredients so yeah i want to try something new i'm gonna go now make that and then afterwards i know i said i don't really watch netflix or any streaming service but my brother has hbo and he logged into his account on my computer the other day so i might watch a show or maybe i just go to netflix and watch uh gossip girl but he told me about this show supernatural because he played it on the tv here and i was like oh my god and it seems a bit scary and it's f it's a crazy story and there's a lot of weird stuff in it. I don't know. It seems interesting. I just don't know if I want to watch that on my own. I'm basically like a child. I get scared very easily. So that's the plan for tonight. And also, we have to open my advent calendar. I have only one box left from my beauty calendar here because I didn't bring everything. I know I was relaxing all day, but I just feel tired and sleepy. <laughs> Especially now when it gets dark around 4 o'clock. It seems like it's 9 or something and then... As soon as it gets dark, it gets so sleepy. Before I go to sleep, I'm going to open my advent calendars. So today is the 15th. Let's find the number 15. There it is. <gasps> Teddy bear. Okay. Yay. It's my favorite one. And then we have Revolve Beauty. Sadly, the last one for this month because I left everything else in Monaco. The Rich Cream. The letters are so small I cannot even read this. So I'm guessing this is a face cream and it's a perfect travel size. So I'm gonna keep this for any upcoming trips. i'm back home i was running errands all morning i visited my grandpa because i haven't seen him in a while and then i sat down for lunch at the restaurant just to order some food and coffee and also to write down ideas for the next year when it comes to making content for youtube i'm making plans for the next month in terms of content but also travel because probably i'll have to go somewhere for work first week of january i'm probably gonna be here and then i'm gonna go to monaco and then after spending some time there probably i'll have to travel for work i just want to make sure i write down any ideas that i have for the next year when it comes to making youtube videos i like making videos like this just being casual and vlogging and not having a particular plan but i want to make these videos even more interesting a lot of things connected to self-development how to make yourself productive but in a healthy way and what are those things that you can implement in your life to make it easier um, for everything to be just flowing which things you can implement into your routine they're gonna help you out with motivation achieving any goals that you set for yourself for the next year and further years basically that's everything that i'm very passionate about and i like talking about so might as well make videos that are related to similar topics now i'm just gonna chill at home for a bit and then i have to go to my appointment i am scanning my aura so i just googled it so i can explain to you what is it about so using the powerful technology illustrates the state of person's energy field when a scan is taken high intensity electrical field simulates emission of photos and electrons from human skin the device provides a literal picture of quality and status of your chakras 
details your emotional, physical, intellectual monthly curves and identifies areas of focus to help balance your whole body, mind and spirit. A quick scan of the fingertips allows you to see in full color and health of your energetic body. You're able to view the size and shape of your aura. So I thought this would be a really fun and interesting thing to do. I've never done anything similar in my life. So I want to see what is the color of my aura and to find out what it means. Hello guys, I am back from my aura scanning and I must say I really enjoyed the session. I had a lot of confirmation about my personality, how I react in certain situations and everything just started to make more sense. I wrote down a few things that she said to me and I will also put some pictures here so you can see what I'm talking about because they scanned my aura with this machine. I put my left hand on it and then on computer screen, they show you different drawings and diagrams. So I have everything recorded and I have the photographs of it. Okay, so my aura is the color yellow and I'm gonna put here the first picture it showed on the computer, how it looks like. And our aura changes all the time. So basically if I just held my hand and she didn't freeze the screen. The machine will continue reading my aura because it changes so often. So I just came into a different room because my mom just came home and she needed to use that room. So I moved in this room so we don't have any background noises. So she told me a lot of characteristics about people that have yellow aura or maybe combination of yellow and a little bit of orange or a little bit of green because Orange is above yellow and then on the scale and then below is a green. So sometimes because our aura is changing constantly, depending on the energy that's around us and we have a lot of energies around us, it can become a little bit green on one side and then it can become a little bit orange in certain parts. When you look at the screen, on the left side is the masculine side and on the right side is the feminine side and each side represents something. I think she said to me the left side shows how much you give to other people and how much you do for yourself every day and your aura changes depending on if you're giving yourself too much to other people or you're focusing on yourself and your self-development and relaxation, doing things for yourself every day. And the other side is creativity, uh, going towards your goals. She said to me that I'm going towards a lot of dreams and goals and that there's a lot of excitement in it. And also that she sees a little bit of fear. That's why my aura is a bit faded on that side. It's not bright, bright yellow because one part is bright yellow and then you see a little bit of fading and I'm going to read a few things that I posted in my story that she told me about people that have yellow aura. People can see us as someone that is very cold. It's because we're very straightforward and see things as they are. We're not going to sugarcoat things. So if you don't want to hear the truth, don't come to us for advice. We are very intuitive and need to learn when to think logically and when to follow our intuition because we have a really strong intuition and sometimes you just naturally would try to solve certain issues or act depending on what's the most logical thing something we learned throughout life or what we think it's right or what the society thinks is right but sometimes you just have to follow your intuition because people with yellow auras have such a strong intuition and I can say and confirm myself that I followed my intuition so many times even though logically it wouldn't make sense and I was right because I followed my intuition then we can tell when people lie um, we constantly think day and night we analyze everything and anything we always want to learn new things I definitely overanalyze everything I'm interested in so many topics Whenever I find out something new, I Google it, I research the topic, I talk about it a lot, I ask different people about it. I also read a lot of books on certain topics that I'm very interested in. We change our careers often. Sometimes we would start one task and not finish it because we got occupied with something else. It's very normal. We love exploring new things and always looking for the right path that is going to fulfill us. So we're always going towards fulfillment to be happy and i definitely do start projects and never finish them and just hop in another one and another one and another one 
because I do think all the time and I come up with new things and most of them I start them and I never finish them and when I really like some something I stay consistent with it like for example YouTube I try to stay consistent with it I don't try to do something else because it's not because I get bored of things it's more like I find something even better for example I'm working on a certain project and I'm like okay I like this but I have a better idea so then I start working on the new idea and then it just goes in cycles like that I'm gonna put a picture here about um, yellow aura meaning so what a yellow aura says about you optimistic easygoing creative uh, mentor spiritual awakening happiness and joy deep inspiration career and life purpose artist musician performer healer medium teacher spiritual leader solar plexus chakra connection wisdom insight core energy expansion seat of emotions and she also showed me the levels of my chakras so they also change all the time and she also showed me my aura size at first when i arrived it was in the number 50 and then as we kept going and talking about everything um my aura expanded to almost 100 and we did this exercise where i put my um hand left hand on the machine and she told me think about breathing in the positive energy so breathe in and say i'm bringing in the positive energy and then breathe out and saying i'm bringing out the negative energy she can leave the machine to read my aura the whole time because aura literally changes in seconds and when she freezes the screen she freezes so she can read the diagrams and tell me something about it because she cannot talk as fast as the diagrams are changing so basically when i was doing this exercise my aura was expanding and the thicker your aura is the more you protect yourself from the outside energy so if there's any negative energy around you you will be more protected if your aura is wider the aura is basically around us like this so on the shape of our bodies and sometimes so there can be 50 and sometimes it can be all the way like this so those are a few things i found out at my appointment uh of course this is not everything there's a lot more things but i could be sitting here for hours and telling you the stuff she told me so i want to talk to you guys about vlogmas so my plan was to upload altogether 12 videos this month or 11 videos i'm not sure but the next video that i will upload will be the last video of vlogmas so tomorrow is sunday and then monday sunday i'm planning to literally stay at home all day and do nothing i really want to have one day when i'm literally not in contact with anyone just sitting at home on the couch reading a book maybe watching some youtube videos but probably i will be reading a book i just want to isolate myself for a day and this is something that i do quite often i like to be by myself one whole day um, once in a while and sometimes that even stretches out to two days depending on how intense was the previous period for me like travel work socializing tomorrow it's not going to be very interesting to vlog anything and then the day after is monday it's going to be my last day here before i go to my work trip to spain basically i need to pack i need to get some appointments done um i gotta see my friend that i haven't seen in a while and it's just going to be a busy day and i just want to relax and get things done before i leave and then i have two days full days of work literally from 6 a.m till 6 p.m so those three days uh one day of travel and two days of working will be one vlogmas the last day of vlogmas and i will either upload it on friday in the evening or on saturday to be honest i did not think that i could keep up with vlogging every single day like this um last week we had this little break of two days and i uploaded one vlog instead of two i feel like sometimes my days are so repetitive and sometimes i just want to chill out and spend time with my family especially because i don't live here and i don't spend a lot of time with them so it's a very specific and unique situation if this was any other month and i was for example traveling it would be very very different and probably december next year will be totally totally different maybe i'll spend just five days here and then for the rest of the month i'll be traveling 
all over. I have so many plans for the next year, so many ideas for my YouTube content. I'm really excited for 2024 and I think it's gonna be a great year. So I think I'm gonna finish this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you heard something new and different and I'll see you next week in my last Vlogmas video.